November 20th, 2009, it all began. Construction on Boeing South Carolina's final assembly building. Amazing to stand back and think, you know, what was here just two years ago. Mel Peterson managed the design and construction of the factory. He found out this land was a phosphate mine in the 1800s. He found out it was the ocean floor thousands of years ago. Oh, and something else. We also found shark's teeth. Yes, shark's teeth. Actually has the uh, serrations on the edge. On Earth during the dig, he says a soil expert estimated this to be 200,000 years old. Uh, pretty impressive. Land with a rich history is now the foundation for plane making history. This factory built in 18 months, spans 10 and a half football fields, and is the place where all parts of the 787 come together in South Carolina. How light and bright, airy and clean it is. Todd Eilers is the production engineering leader and says the building's design allows for production growth with the largest open span of any Boeing building. It will produce three Dreamliners a month at full production rate. Future looks bright. Renewable energy is also a priority at the factory. Proof of that takes us to great heights above the rafters and up on the roof. On this roof there are 18,095 solar panels. Thin, lightweight, peel and stick solar panels. If laid end to end, they would span 61 miles. They generate enough energy to power 250 homes for a year. There's also a weather monitoring system up here. We use environmental conditions to understand the, what the solar system should be producing. It's a way to make sure the factory is getting optimum power. This rooftop solar project caps a state-of-the-art facility. Well, I'm going for the front tooth. A place where sharks once swam. It's a once-in-a-lifetime deal. Is now the spot from which 787s will soon soar.